Hey, how's it going? Welcome to our art room. Come over here and see our sculptors. Hey, this is um, Matt Sirico and Matt, what are you doing here? Making a chalice, kind really? of. Really? That's pretty a cool. Bit. And you're working on one too? Yep. Yeah. We're actually doing sculpting and they're doing painting because we have our projects all done and we're actually doing what we want right now. We're, we chose to sculpt. It's pretty fun actually. When we're doing sketchbook work, we usually have a lot of assignments to do, but they're not really hard. They're actually more fun and creative. You get to use what you want to do and stuff. and. It's just great. Like here, uh, Tori, what'd you do here? Um, I did half of a magazine, and then I had to draw the rest. Yeah? And here we actually used Indian ink, and then colored it in. It was pretty fun. We just used little driblets. And we wrote about our artists here for the final. It's pretty interesting stuff. And so, um, here's I Am The One Who, and you get to write about how, like, what you want to, what you're going to do, or what, like, you've done when you're older, and and that's basically what our sketchbooks are all about. <laughs> so it's not a lot of work, it's just, it's fun and creative. Studio, Studio Art Ross! <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is Studio Art. This is, if you're going to take an art course any time in high school, you have to have this course. You can take it in either ninth grade, or, or you can take fine art in the upper grades. Um, here we're doing printmaking, it's our last project of the year, but we've also worked with collage, we've done art history assignments, We've painted, we've worked on our drawing skills, and it's a really comprehensive course. These are the prints we did. They're originally pieces of linoleum that we designed and gouged out. And currently we're working with ink. And this is partially based on the style of Andy Warhol, who did silk screening. If you're stuck, I definitely say take art. If you like it in the middle school, you're going to like it here. Computer Animation. This hands-on course provides students with the skills to create animated graphic organizers, charts, and other entertaining short features. Project requirements stress clarity of communication and creativity.
Photo One is about learning what makes a good photograph. You don't need any experience to be in Photo One. It does take a lot of time out of school. Photo One and Photo Two are about learning what makes a good photograph, using the elements and principles of design, such as line shape and texture, which are very important. In Photo One, you learn to make your own camera and produce your own pinhole pictures. And in Photo 2, you better your skills in photography. You learn what belongs in the frame of a photograph and what doesn't. And produce larger prints such as 8x10. This is the lens of the camera and you can change the lens depending on what you want in the frame and what you don't. This specifically is called a portrait lens and it's used to shoot people. In Graphic Design 1, we start out by learning about typography and imagery. We work on using experimental printmaking techniques, and designing logos for companies of your choice, CD covers, magazine layouts. Uh, then in Graphic Design 2, we work on using more techniques um, to develop more of a style of your own, using the computer and Photoshop and InDesign. Hey, this is um, drawing and painting. Right now we're working on some drapery drawings with pencil and recently we've done some drawings with pen and ink and as well as other pencil drawings and our next project has to do with surrealism with color pencils and next semester we're going to be painting. It's a pretty good class. The ceramics course at Somers High School is a one semester elective class whereby students will cover an overview of the art of working in clay. The course provides a comprehensive introduction to this ancient human art form. Ceramics will cover types of clay available to the methods of shaping clay into pleasing works of art from conception, construction, firing, and finally embellishment. Students in the clay class will learn the art of hand building techniques such as coil, pinch, slab, drape, as well as the use of clay sculpture as an art form. From researching an idea to creation of the concept in sketchbooks to completion of the ware, all works are handmade and originally based on the student's conception. The ceramics creations are wonderful handmade works of art any student would be proud of and you are sure to enjoy this therapeutic art form. Strong, we learn more about art history and then use those artist concept concepts to help our own art. This is uh, my work on Aperture and he was a German 
uh, he was a German Renaissance artist. He worked in allegories, which meant that his work always told a story. And this is some of his work over here. He worked in uh, cross hatching with pen, and it's uh, like a chiaroscuro type effect, which is an uh, extreme difference between lights and darks. Right over here, A and the D is in between it. And I developed mine based on different artists. I didn't copy mine through his, I made my own. <laughs> and I put mine in the lollipop. Sometimes I get so tired I'm just trying to find a place To lay my head I look up to the sky I feel the warmest light Comfort me I've seen the great heights Reminding me I'm alive Something more than what we're living for. I see it in what? Yeah. You just saw some of the art classes we have to offer at the high school. First, you have to take studio art or art appreciation. You can check it out on the sheet being passed out now. <laughs>